the Onesh. That's a good delivery, and that's it. And inside the edge is a big appeal from the New Zealanders again. Said Anwar getting his. <laughs> Down the track and over the top. Said Anwar takes a leaf out of Amasa Hale's book and hits his first boundary. Yes, for Said Anwar to have uh, been playing like he was for such a long time is quite unusual. That's a great shot. Well, that's beautifully timed too. Look at the timing on that. Second consecutive boundary. That really was a brilliantly timed shot. He just leant into it, as you will see. There's no effort gone into it. It's just a sort of forward push. Hallmark of a very fine timer of the ball. A lot of talent. Driven beautifully and it could be four runs and it is. Square of the wicket and it's 86 for one. What a beautiful shot by Saidan. Saidan has been somewhat subdued this morning. I was just questioning his health before but on that particular occasion even though he's got Eunice's shirt on there at the moment he certainly did time that one nicely. Probably tried to hit it a little more uh, straighter through the covers but managed to slice it just backward a point and it really did dissect the third man as well. That's beautifully played, another fall, wide of mid on, what a beautiful shot that. Perfect timing, perfect placement, four all the way. He has fours in consecutive deliveries now, so that suggests that the New Zealand bowling has just been too inconsistent today. They've been hit both sides of the wicket. So if one going back with a point for four, then the other one going through wide mid on for four, suggests that the bowler's line is somewhat astray. And this one, he's placed it well. It's going to be four runs to the third man boundary. Previous one, he tried to cut it uh, late and fine. This one, he cut it a little square, and it's gone for four. Plays the cut shot uh, very well, to say. It. And well, in fact, uh, there's been a tremendous amount of consistency in his game in this tournament to date. To say it, and well on strike now. He's on 49. And on the pads again. And they pick up two. And he completes yet another 50 in the World Cup. And I must say, a very confident 50 that was. Frightening when you look at the batting to come for Pakistan. From that bowling lineup for New Zealand. Yeah. The scoreboard. And Ian, I can't help thinking that Javed Miada and Salim Malik would be dying to get into bat on this wicket because this is the only time they'll have a match before the World Cup semi-final. Well, they might get in now because there's a chance of a catch down along off Kens is underneath it. It's cleared him and it's six to Saeed Anwar. Yes, Saeed didn't really time that ball, but still managed to go for a six. You will see in the replay that he didn't really get hold of it. You know, it was a sort of more topish edge. It didn't really meddle the bat, but still it managed to go for a six. Well, he's called for the third umpire here. This could be very unlucky for Saeed, umpire, Saeed Anwar because umpire Katie Francis, it was a deflection, a definite deflection from Shane Thompson. It's gone back onto the stumps. And Katie Francis has called for the third umpire. Here we go, this may tell it him run, side on angle, what's the story here? That looks out. So close to call, it's so vital as well in the context of the match, it really is vital. And we've got the red light, have we? Yes, umpire Sharma from India has said that Saeed Anwar is run out, so Joy at last for New Zealand, desperately unlucky side Anwar. A great knock again today, 62 off 67, 139 for two.